What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 40 of our Wolves Crew Mode. And today, we have a couple games for you. We have Tottenham in the league, and then Juventus in the Champions League. Now, depending on how things go, we may do another game or two. But for the moment, those are the two we're setting up to do. And as you can see, we're going to look at the table here. And currently, we're three points ahead of Chelsea with three games to go. They have a game in hand. Uh, we're three points ahead if Chelsea win their game in hand. We'll see how that goes. Um, but we're kind of going to go one step at a time with this. Um, but here we are. Tottenham Wolves is obviously a big game. They are ahead of us. Um, and they are a very good side. I'm going to make a couple changes. Potence is going to play. Dan Donker. Um, do I want to play Foyth? Um... Yeah, we'll play Foyth. Um, and then we'll play Nuri at left back. And I think that should do it. I kind of want to bring Andrade along here. So I'm going to bring him along. Why not? So let's jump into this. Wolves Tottenham. Let's go. It's good football here. Den Donker. Nicely played along. It's a good turn from Jimenez. Can we get off to a good start here as Jimenez slips into space? And Neves, ooh, good save. Hits that well. And to get it all the way across to get a touch on that. It's, it's just falling around there. And he gets to it, Chariori. And it goes through a mound of bodies and it's in the back of the net. What a start here as we take a 1-0 lead on six minutes. But Jimenez got ahead to it, and then the goalie came out, and it's just floating around. Goalie doesn't get to it. It bounces around a couple times. And then Traore just gets a foot to this and puts it in. There's the header. It's blocked away. It's bouncing around. And then he just gets to it. It goes through the legs of one and just past the stretch of another. Look at this. Through the legs, just past his stretch. Laurie said no man's land after missing out. What a start. 1-0. Jimenez. Trying to stretch this out a little bit. Nuri. Potence leaking off the back end there. Steps inside. A space for Potence. And he goes for goal. And Loris with an easy enough save. Neves can't quite get that ball there. He can, actually. Potence. Here's Nuri. And Nuri trying to slide forward here. Gets it to Potence. Does well to step inside Potence. Now we have a little bit of space here as it comes out to Jimenez. It's a little bit wide, Jimenez, but goes for goal. Oh, he smashed the bar. A really, really good effort from Jimenez. He almost doubles up our lead. An excellent attempt as Harry Kane goes off the pitch. Very odd that. As the header comes in and it goes wide, it's Chiesa who comes on the pitch for him. It's a nice step inside there. One more. Can't quite get to it. It's nicely played on here. Oh, it's gone right through. And Neves, good finish. A bit unlucky for Tottenham. I'm not sure how that's gotten through to Neves. It's an excellent finish from him to double up our lead. 2-0 the score. But let's see this again. This has gone through someone's legs. Oh, he's just turned on it there. And he's just missed it with the attempted tackle. And it's an excellent finish here from Neves. Just goes around Loris, who cannot quite get to it. A lovely goal. And it's 2-0 on the hour. Nicely done. Oh, can't quite do anything there. Oh, he's done well, Chiesa. Still holding on to it. Steps back inside. Are you kidding? Chiesa walking around everybody there. I'm also kind of annoyed. That guy didn't step up from behind, but... It is what it is. Chiesa comes onto the pitch, makes an instant impact, runs over to Mourinho. But look at this, just bouncing around, a couple turns, flicks, things, that stupid, I, that tackle there has got to come in. Not sure who that is. It's an excellent finish from Chiesa. And now it's 2-1, 65 minutes gone. A quick reply, and they're back in it. Then Donker, bad, bad giveaway here. Can we get to this? Are you kidding with what's going on here? As Patricio comes out, that's a huge, huge save. A humongous save by Patricio. A lot of bumping there. Weird misses. All that very strange. And we get a little bit lucky. 
that Patricio is an excellent goalkeeper. Neves. He's racing away here. Neves looking to get into space. Steps back inside. Loses out. Get a little bit lucky there as those two run into each other. It's a nice turn. Slipped inside. Nicely done. And it's Lucas. Oh, huge block. There's space out there for Traore. That's a brilliant ball to him. And Traore can slip it across. And it's Neves. What a counter. What a ball to Traore. It lands right on his feet. Slides it across. And Jimenez smashes home the third. And with 12 minutes to go, that might be the goal that gives us the three points. That is a great ball out there. Great touch. Slides it across. Smashed home. What a quick, direct counter. That's what you want to see. And it's 3-1 on 80 minutes. Oh, I can't believe how poor that throw out was. And, ugh. And top number back in it. It's 3-2. Come on. Why do we do this to ourselves, man? Why do we do this to ourselves? Martin's with the goal. A really poor throw out by me. It's just a bad decision. Throw it right to him, really. It's a good ball into that space, and that's an excellent finish. Cutting across that. It's a lovely goal. There's three minutes to go. We have got to hold on to this. We cannot afford to have a meltdown right here. Isn't that pass is just to the wrong guy. Meltdown started, perhaps? Not quite, as we... Nick that there. Slid across. There's 30 seconds to go. Here's Lucas. And that's gets slipped forward. Ooh, that pass. That gets into space and it's game over. There's two minutes to go, though. Martins does well to find space here. And the run's being made. Oh, thank God. Saw the run. Got to it. And thankfully we survive. And that should be game over and is... And we escape in the end, but we were we were pretty good today. Silly goals conceded, but in the end, the three points is all that matters at this stage in the season. 3-2 the score. Arsenal win, United win. There are a couple teams we have to check there. We're going to check it right before this Juventus game. The Juventus, they can also still go through. We're 5-3 up after the first leg at home. A 2-0 win there. That'll do it for Juventus. They can win 2-0, 3-1, 4-2. They can win all those ways. 5-3 is the only one that would send it to extra time. And then 6-4 would be our advantage after the fact. But we they scored three away goals. It's very tough. If Saiz wants to play, this is a difficult game for... Saiz to, to want to come into. Definitely a difficult game. But let's check the Premier League before we do anything here. And we sit fourth now with a six point gap still as Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea still have that advantage there. Well, not an advantage. They have a game in hand. They play Nottingham Forest, Chelsea. Um, Leeds and... Who else am I missing? And Manchester United, who sit in sixth. So, I mean, it's going to be tough toward the end here. It's very tight up here. We can still pass up Liverpool and Tottenham as well. But, you know, we'll have to go game by game here. So let's jump into this. Juventus-Wolves. A big game, obviously. Are we going to make any changes to the team. I'm not so sure. I think one or two perhaps. Nevis is a little bit tired, but we're going to start him. Um, Rene Adelaide can play. Um, I think we can start Buta as well. And I think that will be enough. So let's jump into this. Juventus Wolves second leg. Is, is Can we get to a final? Good movement early from Juventus. that we nick it off them. And here comes Wenduzi. And look at all the men we've got forward here. I'm not sure where that center back's going. And he slipped it into Jimenez here. And Jimenez clips the goalkeeper and it's in. And what a start. 1-0 the score. Five minutes gone. I'm not sure where DeLitt was going. That happens a little bit too much in this FIFA where the center backs are kind of 
wayward. I'm not sure where they're going. Look at him run back. And he just gets back too late. And Jimenez clips the goalkeeper. It's a lovely, lovely finish. And we've started so, so well. Five minutes gone. It's 1-0. Juventus need three. Nicely played. A nice space out wide here. Traore on it now. And Traore, lovely ball into space. And Jimenez gets to that. Chesney's come out to get that and he's missed. And after eight minutes, we're 2-0 up. A ball into the box. Jimenez rises high as Chesney. Nowhere. That's dreadful from the goalkeeper. This is incredible, this star. As that gets clipped in here. And look, Chesney comes to punch. Nowhere near it. Just a deft header from him. And as all he has to do is get that on target. What a start here. It's his second in three minutes. It's 2 0. And Juventus go from needing two to needing four inside the first 10 minutes. Free kick in a dangerous spot. Dabala standing over this. And now a bunch of people are standing over it. It's Depay at the moment. And that gets hit. And oh, what a finish. 12 minutes gone is 2-1. What a start to this game here. They need another three, Juventus. That's a really good free kick from Dabala. Mm. That came a little bit too quickly. I would have liked to cruise for the next half hour or so. But Patricio oh, just can't get out there. It's a little bit too close, and he's done so well to get it over the wall. A good free kick from Dybala, and on 13 minutes, it's 2-1. Juventus need three. Depay turned into space. Here's Ronaldo and a little bit of space here. Can we get to this? We can. Tried to play it out of the back. Giving it right back to Juventus here. Oh, huge save. Big opportunity to go level on the day. Denied by Patricio. Oh, I've messed up. Oh, he's put it in side netting. Jesus. I really tried to play that out of there. Sometimes I overplay out of the back. And right there, we may have just done it. As they're in here. Oh, lovely ball. 2-2. Two -two. What, what am I doing there? I just said, oh, I'd try to play out, <laughs> overplay out of the back. They've done it again. Immediately. Dybala grabs a second. It's 2-2, two -two, and now we're back to where we started the day. Juventus need two more. He's done well. That's a good ball in there and a good finish. This, uh, not ideal, but what a start to this game. 23 minutes gone. There's been four goals. But after our start, we're disappointed to, at where it's at. Nice tackle. Neves. Space right down the middle here for Rene Adelaide. And it's Rene Adelaide. It's another <laughs> incredible scenes here. 3-2. The last one finished 5-3. We're 3-2 after a half hour. And Rene Adelaide coming in for Lucas, who is a little bit tired, has smashed that into the back of the net. And look at the gaps. Look at the gaps. I'm not sure where everybody is. But they've left a massive gap there. He's gone right through it and finished it off brilliantly. Half hour gone, it's 3-2. And now Juventus, back to needing three. Johnny plays a really good ball, and Guendouzi does so well. Gets out wide to St. Maximin here. Nice touch inside from St. Maximin. And he goes for goal near post. Oh, he smashed the bar. Can Jimenez get there? He can. Oh, he's offside. Oh, almost a fourth. What an attempt from St. Maximin. Nice pass to us oh what a poor clip out but we get a little bit lucky there and Neves can drag this forward and Traor is making a run here and oh not the touch we wanted but it comes to Jimenez oh he's missed it that could have been game over that's a massive massive opportunity he's put that well wide considering what it was Nicely done. Ronaldo. Oh, it's a good ball into Depay. They've pulled one back. It's 3-3 on the day. They need two more to send this to extra time. They've still got 28 minutes to do it. That's an excellent finish from Depay. That's a, it's a really, really good finish. Just smashes that into the bottom corner. But it's Ronaldo. We let in space. 
Really good finish. Not much else we could have done. We stretched out to cover Ronaldo. He ran into the empty space. 3-3. Three, three. Half hour to go. Gwen Doozy. It's a decent ball forward and we can play it through as well. And Rene Adelaide. He's running through. Getting away from Moon City. And it's Rene Adelaide. He's finished it. And that will do it. That will surely do it. Three won't be enough now for Juventus. They need four. And we are surely into the Champions League final. A great counterattack. A stunning game. Us and Juventus have been going back and forth and back and forth this whole time. But Rene Adelaide second of the game. Chesney can't keep it out. It's 4-3. An incredible semi-final. And with a minute to go, we are going to go into the Champions League final as Vitinha pushes forward and the whistle blows. 4-3 the final here. 5-3 in the first leg. And we are going to a Champions League final at Juventus's expense. What a semi-final. 15 goals across the two legs. 9-6 it finishes on aggregate. Tons of fun that one. I'm not sure who will meet in the final. Um... Let's see. It'll pop up any second now. It'll be Barcelona or Napoli, I believe. And Barcelona are 3-0 up on aggregate going home. So I expect we will be playing Barcelona in the Champions League final. Until then, though, we have a couple more games that'll happen next episode. We have Brentford, and I believe what I saw in there was Crystal Palace. We'll check in a sec. I believe those are the two remaining games. Those will happen next episode as we try and secure fourth place and end the season. And then the episode after that will be the Champions League final and our end of season review as we go into the new season, guys. But that is going to be it. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.